Imagine looking up at the moon, a familiar silent neighbor, when suddenly, a tiny star-like flash appears and vanishes in an instant. You just witnessed a cosmic collision, a small space rock slamming into the lunar surface. This isn't science fiction, it's a real event astronomers and lucky amateurs sometimes catch. Just a few nights ago, a brilliant flash reminded us that the universe is alive with motion and energy. That flash is the story of a rock, maybe the size of a grapefruit, hurtling at the tens of thousands of miles per hour. With no atmosphere to slow it down, the moon takes the full impact. All that speed turns instantly into heat and light, a momentary explosion visible from Earth. Witnessing this connects us to the wild, unpredictable nature of space. The moon isn't just a static rock, it's constantly being shaped by impacts. Each flash marks the end of a rock's journey through the solar system, billions of years in the making. For scientists, these flashes are more than a spectacle, they're data. Every flash reveals clues about the size, speed, and origin of the impactor. It's a real-time experiment, showing us how the lunar surface responds to cosmic hits. We're literally watching the moon get a new crater, geology in action on another world. Each observation teaches us more about the universe and our place in it. These flashes are not just moments of light, they're moments of insight. They remind us that the solar system is a dynamic, ever-changing place. The moon's surface is a living record of cosmic history, and every time we catch one of these flashes, we're witnessing the universe at work. It's a fleeting event, but its story endures. The next time you look at the moon, remember, it's not just a rock, but a stage for cosmic drama. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll see the universe blink. How do we spot these tiny lunar explosions from Earth? It takes cosmic timing and careful observation. The impact must happen on the moon's night side, the dark part, so the flash stands out. That's why astronomers watch during crescent phases when there's a large, unlit area. Sensitive cameras far more advanced than backyard telescopes, are trained on this darkness. These cameras ignore false signals, searching for the unique signature of a real impact. Clear skies are essential, if it's cloudy, the show's over. To boost the odds, observatories worldwide coordinate their efforts. If one site is clouded out, another might catch the flash. When multiple telescopes see the same event, it's confirmed as real. The flash itself lasts less than a second blink, and you'll miss it. Automated systems record every detail time, brightness, and location. This precise data transforms a fleeting flash into valuable science. We can rewind, analyze, and learn from each collision. That's how a split-second event becomes a window into the moon's ongoing story. Why do scientists watch the moon's dark side so intently? The moon is a giant catcher's mitt, collecting space debris that could also threaten Earth. Each flash is a puzzle piece, helping us map what's flying around our solar neighborhood. By measuring the brightness, we estimate the impact's energy, and from that, the size and speed of the object. Over time, we build a statistical map of how often different sized objects hit the moon. This is called measuring the impact flux, a key to understanding our cosmic environment. Modern telescopes let us watch impacts as they happen, not just study old craters. Real-time flashes reveal details about the impactor's composition and the moon's surface. These observations help us test and refine our models of the solar system. The moon is our laboratory, and every flash is a cosmic experiment. This recent lunar impact was special. It happened during the Geminid meteor shower. The Geminids, peaking in mid-December, are caused by debris from the asteroid 3200 Phaethon. As Earth passes through this debris, we see meteors streak across the sky. The moon, traveling alongside us, gets hit by the same particles. On Earth, they burn up as meteors. On the moon, they strike the surface and create flashes. Observing a lunar impact during the Geminids directly links a meteor shower to a lunar collision. Scientists can confidently say the impactor was a piece of Phaethon. By analyzing the flash, we learn about the size and density of Geminid particles, denser and rockier than typical comet dust. The Moon acts as a secondary detector, giving us hard data while Earth gives us a light show. Comparing lunar flashes to meteor counts refines our understanding of the debris stream. The Earth-Moon system becomes a dual laboratory, revealing the flow of cosmic material. Each observation paints a clearer picture of our solar system's dynamic environment. 
Every lunar flash marks the birth of a new crater, an event we can now witness and study. With orbiters like the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, we can find fresh craters and compare them to the flashes we saw. This lets us link impact energy to crater size with unprecedented accuracy. These insights help us decode the Moon's history and, by extension, the early solar system. Studying new impacts reveals details about the lunar surface, how material is ejected, its composition, and its structure. Each impact acts like a natural drill, exposing fresh material for analysis. Over time, countless micro-impacts churn and weather the lunar soil. Observing fresh impacts helps us understand how quickly the surface changes. This knowledge is crucial for interpreting lunar samples and remote sensing data. Every flash is a lesson in the Moon's ongoing evolution. As we prepare for Artemis missions and lunar bases, understanding impacts is vital for safety. Future habitats and astronauts will face the same cosmic bombardment we observe from Earth. Even small meteoroids can cause serious damage, puncturing walls or harming equipment. Data from impact, flashes, guides engineers in designing protective shielding for habitats and spacesuits. We create risk maps, identifying dangerous times like meteor showers when impacts spike. This helps schedule moonwalks and plan activities, just like checking a weather forecast. In the future, real-time impact warnings could give astronauts precious seconds to take cover. Networks of observatories might one day provide alerts for incoming objects. Each flash we study brings us closer to safer, more sustainable lunar exploration. The moon's hazards are real, but with knowledge, we can prepare. Every observation is a step toward protecting our future on the moon. Lunar impact flashes reveal the deep connection between Earth and the Moon. Both worlds share the same streams of cosmic debris. What's a meteor shower for us is a bombardment for the Moon. The Moon is our witness plate, recording the solar system's history and warning us of future hazards. Earth-based telescopes and lunar orbiters work together, combining data for a fuller picture. This research helps us understand not just the Moon, but the risks facing our own planet. As technology advances, we'll detect even smaller impacts and learn more about our cosmic neighborhood. Dedicated lunar observatories could soon give us an even clearer view. The moon's flashes are fleeting, but their lessons endure. Next time you look up, see the moon as a dynamic partner in a cosmic dance. Its changing face tells the story of our journey through space. In every flash, we glimpse the beauty and danger of the universe. And our exploration is just beginning.